Next up, we're going to add the ability for our bricks to have different colors. So I'm going to open up my brick, and we'll see that there's two other things that opened up with our image editor, and that's our animation frames and our animations. I could really use either of these two things to accomplish what I'm going to do, but I find animation frames easier because each of them has a numerical value to specify what they are. I'm going to turn off animation so that it doesn't play through this like this were an animated sprite. So instead of speed 5, which is the default, I'm going to change that to speed 0 so that it doesn't play. And then I'm just going to add some more frames. So let's have six of them. So under frame 1, I'm going to load my red and then my orange. And I'm going to fill up each of these sprites with a different color. And this is going to be going from my weakest of one up to my strongest value of six. Now you might say, well, you doubled up on red with zero and one. When we get to our event sheet here in a second, I'm gonna show you why zero isn't actually something we're gonna use. So all of these, if I were to leave them at zero, would just get destroyed when they're created. In fact, I'll leave that here so we can test that here in a second. So I'm gonna to go to my event sheet and I'm gonna change my action here. So when the ball has a collision with brick, I actually want the brick now to change its frame. So under animations, I'm gonna set the frame that it's at. And I want it to be one less than the one it used to be. So I can't just say a specific number. So I need the brick to look at itself. So there's a shortcut for that and that's self dot animation frame. And then I just wanna do one less than it currently was. So self dot animation frame minus one. And that's gonna be instead of destroy because what I want to have happen is when, whenever the brick compare frame, so whenever its frame is equal to zero, so the brick's animation frame is equal to zero, that's when I want the brick to be destroyed. Now, all of these are initially at frame zero. So if I were to run that, they're all gonna be destroyed before I even start playing. So instead, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna take all of these, change their initial frame to one, and when I run that, it's gonna work just like it did before. We won't really notice any difference unless I take these and I make some other colors. So let me move my ball down a little bit, make room for a couple different colors here. So I'm gonna have my second ones be initial frame two. The next ones could be three, four, five, and six. And just so I don't have to watch this forever to make sure that each of those colors work, I'm going to temporarily move this to the bottom. So that's the first thing that gets tested. So purple becomes blue, the blue becomes green. When the green gets hit again, it becomes yellow. The yellow hit becomes orange. The orange becomes red. And whenever we hit the red, the red will disappear. So the only thing I'm going to change now is the way that this is scored. So instead of adding 100 every time, I'm actually gonna make this double for each one. So 100 points for the first, then 200, then 400, then 800, and so on. So that's gonna be two to the power of the bricks animation frame times 100, done. Now I'm adding the points after I subtract. So red is the first one, so that would be two to the zeroth power which is one, one times 100, I get 100 points. Then the next one will be two to the first, so that's two times 100 is 200, and so on. So to make sure that works, I should get 100 points for my red ones, which I do. When it comes back around, I should get 200 points, so I go four to six, six to eight, and that is working just fine. And I should now be done with my bricks.